Hey guys, it's Jen and I'm here to share a haul with you. Um, I've been just gathering a few things here and there from different places and I thought I would just show you what I've got going on here. So, the first is from the dollar spot at Target and these actually both were $3. And one of them is this roller stamp and I stamped them all out really quick so you could see what it has. I didn't do a very good job on that one, but it says, no dreams, just goals, OMG, OMG, for keeps. I can't even with some sunglasses, a to and from, your mermazing, and there's a mermaid tail. Happy thoughts, this is really the one that I bought it for. Um, hey girl, hey, I love that too. To do, keep going, and reminder. So I thought that was cute. And the other thing I got was this really awesome tape uh, dispenser. They had this also in pink and in gray, um, but I picked up this kind of rose gold color. And what, I always keep a roll of, um, washi tape out on my desk to tape down the backs of threads and stuff on my layouts and so this is perfect to hold that and so this will just sit right on my desk. Um, next I'm going to show you some stuff I got from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby did me well uh, the past few days. They had a lot of stuff on sale that I wanted so let me show you. First of all I got these two foam stamps and I just think they're really pretty. Um, I like using paint with foam stamps, and I think that would be fun to try. I haven't done it for a long time um, on a background with either of these. I think they're really pretty. So there's that. And then I got this punch, which um, punches out a flower and this tiny little leaf shape. And I want to show you because it is the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. Just got some scratch paper here. Oh! <laughs> Okay, so here is the cute little leaf. So cute. This would be perfect just to hide, tuck behind um, some flowers, you know. Um, and then here is the petal. And you could layer a bunch of these together. Uh, let me show you with just two layered together. Two is like that. And then you could like, you could roll up the edges so it has a pretty look to it. So that was fun and this was I think three dollars as well so that was pretty cheap for a punch I thought. Okay the next thing I got from Hobby Lobby was pom-poms. I just felt like I wanted some pom-poms and I wanted to challenge myself to use some on a layout. Um, this was the best color scheme that they had that I preferred um, because there was blue and pink in it. I'm not such a fan of some, like the brown, I hate, I hate that. Uh, but I decided to go ahead and get that. And then they had these We Are Memory Keepers staples in different sizes for 50 cents. And I actually got three of them. Uh, but the thing about it is, I figured for 50 cents it was worth it. But I have this cute little hedgehog stapler that my bestie gave me. And it doesn't take mini staples and it doesn't take regular size staples. It takes that weird mid-size and I know We Are Memory Keepers had a the staple board punchy thingy but um, and it had a middle size so they manufactured this this middle size and I think Stampin' Up! also has a middle size uh, between the the tiny like the tiny attacher and a regular size staple um, and so this comes with regular size and and that size that fits my cute little hedgehog and so um, I'm getting rid of these two rows because these are giant staples so I'm wasting that much but I think it's worth 50 cents to have those and I love that it's like a copper color because let me show you maybe you guys are like this too I have three staplers oops um, this one says my name on it that I got from Felicity Jane back in the day. It's gold and it holds gold staples in it. And then this one is my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher and it's black and gray and it holds regular silver staples. And then my Hedgehog, which is kind of a brownish color, holds the copper staples. So the staples are the color of my stapler. And I like that. <laughs> so, all right, let me get these out of the way now. Next thing I got were um, Scotch Tacky Glue was on clearance for $1.74, so I got two of them. This is just like the Scot Scotch um, Quick Dry Adhesive 
and it works just as well and usually it's seven dollars and I got it for a dollar seventy four so I thought that was really awesome I was just doing a little bit of stocking up on supplies that you know I use often so that I can have these just waiting for me ready to go the other thing I got was um, distress oxide inks and I got abandoned coral and cracked pistachio and then I realized that let me show you Ta-da! I already have cracked pistachio, so that's awesome. Um, stay till the end of the video and I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this. Um, anyway, so I got abandoned coral, and I like it. It's really cute. And I think that's all that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, I ordered these on Amazon. These are the white jelly roll pens, and th this is the pen that I love to use most when I'm writing on photos. And it just has a really bright white ink um, and then they recently came out with different sizes so this has a 5, an 8, and a 10, a fine, a medium, and a bold and I am excited to try those out in conjunction with each other like if you want to have a word stand out more you can use the 10 and then rest of the words can be 5 so I'm, I'm excited to start playing with that a little bit. Um, oh these also came from Hobby Lobby I forgot. I got these in the clearance section and I think they were two dollars and they are, um, text well, there's one texture paste and two modeling pastes. And this by this person, Bria Reese, who I hadn't heard of before, but um, she has a line there. And I don't know if they're getting rid of it. But um, this one is kind of like, what is it called? Mars Black. So it's like a dark gray with um, shimmer in it. Let me open it so I can show you a little better. I don't know if you're really going to be able to tell about the shimmer, but um, I did try it on a piece of paper, so I'll show you the other two. This one is called Ultramarine Blue. It's a really bright blue. I don't have anything really that color, and I really like that color. So those two, I went ahead and tested out on this paper with my, it's just a piece of scratch paper, um, and I ran it through a stencil. So you can see it's just like modeling paste. It's a little bit dimensional. Um, I don't know if you can see the glitter now. I think you can in that black-ish. It's kind of like asphalt almost. Um, and the blue is a really bright blue. This is just where I was cleaning off my stencil, but I thought it looked kind of cool too. I cannot for the life of me get this open, so I'm gonna have to wait for someone stronger to open this. I don't know if my husband can do it, <laughs> but um, he probably can. Anyway, so this one is called Magenta, and I'm sure I'll love it. It's like a purpley pink that's kind of my jam right now. So um, I also got those. So those were only two bucks a piece. So I've scored some awesome deals on things people don't realize are super cool, right? Um, I did get a little bit of stuff from Allie Edwards' newest release uh, with her like planner binder thingy. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Can't remember. Anyway, um, I got two of the paper pads. One is Story Idea, and it has a place for you to write, you know, your story idea. You can jot down which photos you want to use and if you have an idea of what embellishments you'd like to use. And then you can choose if you want it layout, pocket page, mini book, or just to remember and the date. And so this is just full of that, which is fun because I like jotting things down uh, like that, ideas. I often do it on my phone, but I like to have something physical as well. And I actually wanted to see, I don't think it does, but I wanted to see if it fits in my binder, my Felicity Jane binder. It's too thick for sure, but oh, it totally does. Cool. So I might rip off a few pages and just put it in the back of my planner. Same with this one. I'll show you that one next. Ooh. Yeah, that's too thick. Or I could take out some of my months, but you know. Okay, so the, the story idea and then the project plan. So here, this is like for a big project. Like for me, this might be for a class. So the reason why I'm doing it, the story ideas to do before the project, what supplies I need, and a personal pep talk. So encouragement to yourself. I just thought these were really great and because I uh, like to plan out things for my YouTube channel and different classes, I thought these would be nice to have on hand. And then the other thing that I got was the sticker pack and I'll show you that really quickly. Sorry for the noise. So it comes with two each of all of these different things. So it comes with this set of white 
words. I love tiny word stickers like this. And it just says all sorts of words like loving today, this year, I love you because, this was awesome, there's nothing better than this. It's really general phrases and I think they're easy to use. And next, we have these little labels. Now these are meant to coordinate with the tabs that um, Allie has that coordinates with her binder. Um, so, you know, you could just write on these for whatever, or I wonder if they fit. I have some Avery L tabs here. I wanted to see if they fit that. Ugh. This little thing is from, I think Walmart or Target. I don't know, my friend bought it for me. Okay, mm, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit my tiny one either, but that's okay. I'll find something to use it for, or I could type words on it on my typewriter. I think that would be kind of fun. So, there's two of those. Sorry about that. Then we have two sheets of these black label stickers. Great for just putting on top of something and writing, like on, on top of a photo and just jotting a few words down. And then there's these stickers. So these are the really matte kind of stickers that are easy to write on. You don't need any special pen. These stickers are a little bit more glossy, but they're still matte. Um, and they're just banners and labels. And then lastly, there's this sheet of different circles with a variety of icons that you could use for everyday life kind of stuff. So I'm gonna put aside one of each of these. If you didn't guess it already, that Distress Oxide, I'm also going, I'm gonna do a giveaway at the end of this. Just stay till the end if you wanna know how to win some stuff. Um, I haven't done just a giveaway in a while, so I thought it would be fun to do. All right. So that's the stuff I got from Allie Edwards. Now, hmm, I want to show you really quickly, I got some stuff from the thrift store and this might seem strange, but I wanted to share it with you because I wanted you to know when I go to the thrift store, like the kinds of things that I like to look for. So I put them in this little book here and I got old books mostly, but I wanted to show you a few different things. So. I like to, when I'm looking for old books, I love to rip book pages out, right? I, I just like the texture it gives to my page. I recently ripped one out of this Concepts of Space uh, book, and I always look at what's, what are these little titles here? Sometimes the different chapters have different titles. Sometimes it's just the title of the book, but I really pay close attention to that because when I'm layering, that's likely the part that's going to show. And so I kind of pay attention to see if it will work with my, um, like with the way I scrapbook and some things that have happened to me. This one I really liked just because it has these black and it has the red border. So I just thought that would be a fun one. And then I also got a bunch of old like library um, cards, like the stamped places where you could, you know, we all remember this, don't we? That says Evan Clarkson. Okay, oh, Ewan. Anyway, so I got those and I think those will be fun to incorporate onto layouts as well. Now these things aren't necessarily acid free and that doesn't bother me but if it bothers you I guess keep that in mind. Um, the other thing that I got were some music, some old music papers and we just went on a cruise and we listened, we had a Beatles, um, there was like a Beatles concert there, a tribute band or whatever and so I wanted to add in some of these music pages to a layout about that and then this one, there were a few titles in here that I thought were fun that kind of struck a chord with me. And um, one of them was, it's a small world. One of them was cotton candy. So there's just a different, a, a few different things in here that I thought would be fun uh, to include. And then this one, I just really liked the lyrics to it, Be My Life's Companion. And then I also got this college typewriting uh, notebook and I like the way it or it's not a notebook it's like a textbook um, but I like the way it's it comes out at the top so I just thought I would just get it for something different there's typing stuff on here um, and it has some orangey colors but I that's a color I'm, I've leaned toward lately and so I thought this would be fun to rip some pages out of so I don't always use book pages I use them only every so often but I like to have these kind of things on hand for when I do want to use them so um, this just sits in a little just sits up on, on my desk here and then when I want something I'll just go grab it and I've labeled it vintage paper so um, if you have 
any, like if you like that kind of vintage-y look uh, once in a while, I think that's a great way to find those kind of things is at thrift stores. You could probably find stuff like that at um, estate sales and stuff like that too. All right, next, let me show you what I got from scrapbook.com. Let's look at that. So, yes. Actually, okay, I got a few things from scrapbook.com and I got a few things from my local scrapbook store, but I want to show them to you at the same time because a lot of it is the same stuff. So I got Maggie Holmes, um, the Flourish collection, and I got the exclusive little, they had a, a package. It wasn't the whole entire collection, but it was like a bunch of papers, the die cuts, and the stickers that came in this little pack that is the exclusive uh scrapbook.com pack and then I also at my local scrapbook store uh, bought a bunch of Maggie Holmes flourish as well so I thought I would just show them both to you and you can kind of see the difference I'm not going to go through the die cut packages now but if you want to stay till the end I'll go through them then uh, so before I get to those let me show you there's only two other things I got there so I want to show you really quick um, one is the Good Vibes stamp set, and I love this because I love all of these little phrases. They're easy to just add to anything. Um, so great, literally, I believe in adventure, love out loud, my favorite, nothing but Good Vibes. So that's cute. And it was only like three or four bucks. And then the other thing I got at my local scrapbook store, they just have these for sale like for 25 cents each or something like that. And they're library pockets. And I thought with all of those library cards that I have, not all of them had pockets, so I could just use these for that. Alrighty, so let's look at the Flourish stuff. I'm going to first show you the exclusives to scrapbook.com. And I want to tell you, first of all, the papers, it comes with two of each paper in the pack. And there are like six different kinds, I think. Yeah, six. So you get 12 sheets of paper if you buy that. Um, that bundle deal. So one side of the paper is printed and then the other side is a solid. So that's how they've decided to do it here, which I think is nice. Sometimes I just like a solid piece of paper. So first of all, we have this one. It's called Made in Hair and it's yellow and pink and red. I've put aside the, the additional sheets of this for the giveaway at the end, so be sure to watch for that. Um, this I love, love, love. This is called Skylark, and you could paint this in or just leave it black and white. I just think it's really, really pretty. And the back is yellow. This one I also love. This is called Noble, and I love this. I'm going to try this with real paint, but I like that it's already on this paper for me. Um, and the back is pink. Then we have Gossamer, which is a nice floral. This um, collection is called Flourish, so I think you'll probably assume there's a lot of florals, which is totally my jam, and if it's not yours, I totally get that, but I do love a good floral. So the back is this teal color. Then we have Unforgettable, and it's kind of like this quilted look here, and then flowers in the centers. I think these would be fun to fussy cut out. And then the back is kind of this salmon color. And then we have Splendid, which is this nice mustard uh, print flower print and then the back of that one is a, like a softer coral so those are the exclusive papers I just set them out here and then the exclusive stickers are these so I want to just show you really quickly you can tell that they're similar but they're different so this is the one that comes in the, the regular collection and these are the ones that come in the scrapbook.com version. So I guess I'll just show them to you at the same time. Remember, I got this from my local scrapbook store, but they do have it on scrapbook.com as well. So you can see that it definitely has all the same feeling, right? But they just have a few different icons. I really love the floral on this one. The peacock's fun. The butterfly is really pretty, and I love this floral. This is on the exclusive. That's really pretty. Okay, and then the back, we have an alphabet on the exclusive one, but not on the um, regular one and so there's lots of other cute things on here though that are I just absolutely love I love the bird on the on the branch these little cameras and the little houses are so adorable and there's not any houses on this one so it's just kind of like for you to take a look and see 
I, I need them both <laughs> because that's how I roll with Maggie Holmes, but you probably don't. I probably don't either, but I just, you know, I needed it. So this is the exclusive die cut package and you can see there's a ton in here. It says 50 pieces. I'm going to show you the back for now, but again, I will open this up at the end of the video if you'd like to see that. So you can see there's lots of like tabs and florals and butterflies and words. I think they're really pretty. I like this little bell jar there. I don't know if you can really tell. Okay, so that is the exclusive scrapbook.com bundle that I got. They have more stuff available, but this, this is, I just got the little pack that they had. And then I did get some flourish stuff for myself from from that's not in this collection so you'll be able to see a little bit of the difference here um, we have this paper which is called colibri oh no hummingbird that must be Spanish or something I don't know <laughs> okay so this is called hummingbird and there are little hummingbirds on here and I just think the colors here are absolutely gorgeous I accidentally bought this on scrapbook.com and in my local scrapbook store so one of these sheets is going in that giveaway as well and so the back of this is just a nice diamond pattern it's like a diamond chevron okay then next we have poppy and this is like a red and pink design on the front but I got it for the back these they're like green and aqua hearts so you can see some of them are a little bit more green I really love that this one's called nostalgic I really really like this it seems my my friend thinks it looks old lady CJ but I love this kind of stuff and the back is so cute too look at those little vines in a scallop I really love that okay this one's called fragrant this is so pretty the back of it is pink with like purple dots on it it's really cute okay I had to get this one this one's called perennial and it just has a bunch of different flowers and leaves and it looks like it's taped onto the page and um, my daughter used to collect plants and put them in a little book and I did when I was in high school as well so I just thought this was kind of fun and then the back of it is this interesting green it almost look like a rainbow this is not my favorite but this definitely is Okay, so this is the floral, and it looks just like the floral from the scrapbook.com exclusive. I think it's just a different colorway. Yeah, so you can see this one is pink flowers with yellow in the background, and then this one is yellow flowers with green in the background. So you can see the little bit of difference there. The back of this one has a stripe, and there's a little bit of distressing, as is crepe paper's norm. This one is called Poetic, and I love this blue color. It, it's not quite the same blue as that um, paint that I showed you, but it's a darker shade. This is just a darker shade of that. And so I think that's, I just am really loving that color. It's a more purpley blue, but it doesn't feel purple purple. I don't know. And then the back is, kind of reminds me of a tile, um, but it's just a yellow pattern there. This one is called Rose Garden really pretty with the I like the pink pop in the background and the back is what I really got it for this is the flower district weekly ledger and I just think this is this is the perfect background paper for me okay and then I also got the 6 by 12 um, chipboard sheet and it's really awesome it has houses and it has deer and quail and peacocks and um, florals I'm excited to try to work these into uh, layouts pretty soon here and I did accidentally order one on scrapbook.com and get one at my local scrapbook store so um, I have more of a giveaway for you than than I even realized okay next let's look at the die cuts so these are the die cuts it has 40 pieces so the uh, the scrapbook.com exclusive has 10 more pieces than this one and then these are the shapes you get here oh you know what Oh, they're the same, except one of them has more pieces in it. So you can see this one stops at that blue tag, and then this one has all of these extra things around that this one does not have. So I think what I'll do is I will give away this one. You guys, I'm putting together such a good giveaway for you. Okay, yeah. I'll keep this one that has more <laughs> and then I'm gonna give this one away so that's kind of fun um, 
And then there's just a couple of other pieces that were not from the Maggie Holmes Flourish collection that I wanted to show you. This is a here and there vellum paper. It's Crate Paper's new kind of um, travel line. And I love this. It's just really fun. I actually used this for a class on the cruise that I just went on. And everyone got one of these. And then I also got this from Crate Paper Main Squeeze. It's called Just Love. And I really love the pattern of the hearts on here. I love how some are big and some are really small. I just think it's a very interesting look. I got this from Pebbles Night Night. It's called Summer Breeze. The colors are just so sweet here. And then the back is just like, it's a barely noticeable polka dot. I don't know if you can even really see it, but it is barely noticeable. I thought this was so cute. This is called Sail Away. This is from their Night Night collection. They have a boy and a girl kind of version. And I like both sides of this. So this is like kind of like little waves. And then this side is those cute sailboats. And then lastly, I got this from Rockabye Baby from Cartabella. And I love a blue, I love a ledger paper, but I love the blue on top of the teal here. And then the other side, I really don't care about. But I, what I want to point out is that these three are from baby collections, but I have no intention of using them for that. I can just use them for whatever I want. So don't forget to look at things that, um, maybe paper lines that even if it's baby, you might find some patterns that you love because usually most companies include a few kind of neutral patterns. Okay, so I think that was the last thing. What I want to do now is show you what I'm going to give, give away all together. So, wow, this is awesome. <laughs> Okay, I have, I'll just go through them again for you really quickly. I have the scrapbook.com exclusive papers, one of each. Okay, lovely. Oh, this is not the exclusive, but I had two of them, so I threw one in here. I've got the 6x12 um, chipboard sheet. And I've got the ephemera pack, which is from the regular, the main collection. And then I'm giving you a Distress Oxide. So all of these things here match together. And then I'm giving you one each of these new stickers from Allie Edwards. And these will match pretty well too if you wanted to use all this stuff together. Um, I think you totally could just for scrapbooking. Some of these colors might not be quite right, but look at that. So I love the way that that came together and I'm glad that I have so much extra. I, I've i been wanting to do a giveaway but I feel like I want to give away new stuff and so this is exciting to be able to give you something like this. So if you would like to win this, internationals and US can apply. Um, I want you to leave me a comment below in the in the video notes or not the notes but the comment section letting me know what your favorite thing about scrapbooking is and I'm only going to choose someone who actually tells me what their favorite thing about scrapbooking is and I'm going to um, I'm going to let's see I'm just trying to look at my phone to see what the date is um, so I can know when to close this I'm going to leave it open until I'm, I want it to be kind of short so I'm going to leave it open till Saturday, which is March 3rd, and then I will pick a winner and announce it on the 5th, which is a Monday. Okay, so you have until March 3rd. Leave me a comment below letting me know which, um, what is your favorite thing about scrapbooking, okay? And then for those of you who want to stick around, I will go ahead and go through the die cut pack. I'm just going to open mine because it has the 10 extra pieces, and I'll set aside the ones that have extra so just so that you know. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through those. All right. I'm gonna zoom in for this part actually. Yeah. I'll show you a bunch and then I'll move them to the side. Okay, so we have a hummingbird. It's cute floral. I love stuff like this that's just an interesting little layer. That one you can write inside of. This is like a paint by number inspired print. A vellum bird, which I think is really cute. I'm pretty sure that that hummingbird is one of the extra pieces. Yeah, it is. Butterfly index. 
got this kind of purple label. This is a vellum butterfly. This is one of the extras in the scrapbook.com exclusives. There's a frame. This is also an extra. We've got a camera with a circle. It's like an instant camera with a circle. I meant with a glitter circle. Then we've got a glitter frame. This is an exclusive to scrapbook.com. This cute little lovely. Sweetest day with a quail. Happy heart. Note. It's got that um, kind of rose gold foil on it. Here is a, another vellum piece that's a paint by number. I think that's really cute. It's just different. Here's a tag. We've got this um, frame that's got the rose gold on it. Here's another tag. We've got this little bell jar, which I think is super pretty, and it's transparent, so you could try to put some stuff behind it, um, and it looks like it's in the glass jar still. I think that's really cool. Um, we've got this lemon tag, botanicals, this tag with the black and white, and then this little bunny tag. Oh, the camera is an exclusive as well. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to push this aside and open up the other side of it. Sorry for the noise. All right. So, push that all the way out of the way. We have Hello, which is an exclusive. We have another bell jar. Love it. We have this pretty frame. It's got this like cool marbled effect here. There's kind of a distressed yellow tag. A scribble tag. I love this. Oops. We've got a deer. We've got this amazing floral. This is an exclusive for scrapbook.com. This one is as well. And it's got little strawberries on it. That's kind of cute. This says Bloom with Grace. That is also an exclusive. We've got this little row of butterflies and the copper foil. Another little label here with the black and white and the purple outline. This is an exclusive. It's gold glitter on vellum and it's just like this little fern. We've got a flamingo, I think, or no, a heron? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's not a flamingo. Uh, a crane, I think. Okay, lovely. This blue one. This tag, and I like that there's a little space here. You could stamp something there. Here's a house. Love this tag. This just looks swashes of color. Some more houses. This one says love with um, swans in the background. We've got this one that says I love you. This would be cute to stick on the front of a card. Here's another paint by number inspired print. This is um, swans. And then we've got this one. And then we've got this large piece, which I believe is in the main collection. Love makes everything grow. That's sweet. And then we've got this piece, which you can actually, it's perforated, so you can rip apart the tickets. Okay, so that is everything that I've gotten in the past little bit. Um, I. I'm excited to start creating with this. Um, I'm starting a new series on my YouTube channel this Friday, and it's called Use It or Lose It, and I'm going to show you how, um, ways to use those things in your stash that are just collecting dust. So I hope you'll join me, and if you have things in your stash that are collecting dust, please leave me a comment and let me know which, um, like what kinds of things you would like me to do uh, to use on the series. And then don't forget if you'd like to enter the giveaway to receive these fabulous prizes. Um, right here. Don't forget to leave a comment letting me know what your favorite thing about scrapbooking is. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll be back very soon.